Does it really make a difference when we humans come together and share and pulsate a aspiration for peace, for a more compassionate life, for, for light? Well, many of us are discovering that very likely it does make a difference and the mystics across time have affirmed very strongly that yes, we make a difference. And so what are some of the experiences that we've all had that might enable us to harness the possibility of our global connectedness so that we can make a better world? Okay, let's look at some of the possibilities. First of all, you inside yourself. It's quite likely that your aspirations are for more connectedness, more joy, more love, more abundance, more empowerment, more truth more stillness and more love. If that's your situation, well, welcome to the human race. <laughs> There's no difference between you and everyone else. But actually, this is quite remarkable. Every human being experiences that same quest. Different routes up the mountain to the same experience. Because you can say to yourself, how much of any of one of these states is enough? Joy, love, gratitude, peace, stillness connectedness. Well, actually, there is no limit to that. In fact, the mystics across the ages have said the only fulfilling limit is when it's infinite, when you are connected so completely that there is nothing more to do. Now that is a state aspired to and touched by people in all of the great traditions and very likely people in your neighborhood who don't speak about it very much, the enlightened person down in the corner shop. There are great beings holding peace and sensitivity in our neighborhoods. Maybe you're one of them, possibly even without really knowing it. And this is a very great thing. We all aspire to a state which is fully connected fully aware, fully alive, and fully successful. This is actually one of the Vedantic proofs of the great self. <laughs> this is an experimental thing. You can go out and ask people and they will all say what I have just said, one way or another. So we all aspire towards a state. That state when touched is inherently fulfilling. That state when touched seems to make a great difference to the people around you. If you ever touch that state of fully complete freedom, connectedness, love, unity, <laughs> all the different possibilities, perhaps you feel it now. That state influences the people around you in the most exquisite ways. What about, does a state of more connectedness inside influence people who I'm not directly in touch with? What some of the examples of that? Well, if you have joined any of us in our gathered meditations in the last two or three years, many of you will have experienced that it is as if everyone is present with you. The gathered feeling that spiritual groups across the centuries have experienced when they come together seems to persist and seems to exist by Zoom, <laughs> when we're having a hangout together. When we are gathered in a shared pulsating consciousness, it is as if time and space are transcended and we are clear. And we feel like everyone has come to be with us in our own space. What is that phenomenon? What is actually working here? The yogics would say that, amongst many other things, when our fields start to resonate, our pranic layers start to become connected, our emotional layers start to pulsate in harmony. Our layer of knowing and wisdom, Vijnanamaya Kosha, starts to rest in a stillness that enables the internal awareness of our great self to rest and illuminate your mind. So that's what we love to do when we come together, is to allow some of that to illuminate and affect their mind. So why don't you try it now? 
Go inside, go quiet for a minute. Allow a stillness to rest at the top of each breath, breathing in. Pause. Breathing out. Breathing in and just allow a little stillness. Breathing out. You might want to allow that stillness to contain the seed of some positive emotion, a little bit of love, or gratitude, or empowerment. Let it grow on the top of each in-breath, breathing in, pause, a pulse of love, breathing out. You may want to draw love in or gratitude, or peace, and breathe it out. Drawing it in, oh, it feels good. A burst at the top of the in-breath, breathing it out, giving to the world. Could you imagine that there is a cycle of life? Drawing into you, offering out. Giving to you, offering out. We find when we are all in meditation together that this becomes a palpable thing. That force is the force of shared consciousness. And it is one of the unique characteristics of any gathered group. Now, you as a yoga practitioner or a meditator will have experienced that one way and another. This is actually intrinsic proof that there is something within us that also connects us. This is the investigation of consciousness. Does it make a difference on a global scale? Well, researchers around the world are increasingly discovering, quite likely, yes. We watch the random number generators uh, created by the um, Princeton University Engineering Department and later the HeartMath people and the Global Coherence uh, and the um, Institute of Noetic Sciences, fantastic discoveries where the actual quantum field changes when you place a random number generator next to a great conference or a great place where there's a harmony and a pulsing of love. Now that's quite an impressive thing. There is research now that shows that this can affect, well, of course, your body, but directed prayer can affect others. The effect is slight, but statistically, fantastically significant. We are watching a great change. It is quite likely that where the 20th century was known as the age of technology and information, it's quite likely the 21st century will become known in history as the age of consciousness. And it's up to us to be the bow wave to be the pioneers, to be the, the people who stand up and say, in the words of the great Vivekananda, O oh, children of immortal light, there is a state within you in which you are fully present and fully connected. In this state, all is well. That's the journey of the 21st century, to help humanity, to help me, to help us, to help our species, discover our connectedness to each other and to this beautiful world. I'm looking forward to meditating with you, to continuing to garden and cultivate the beauty of the field of consciousness within which we all swim. Om Shanti, Om Shanti. Om Shanti.